Hello, Sagittarius, and welcome to another reading with Soulful. Whew. How are you doing today? I hope that this Thursday finds you well. And I'm just going to do a quick announcement. 500 subscribers as I record this. I woke up this morning and went, yes! <laughs> okay, so we're at 500. And at 500, just so you know, Sagittarius, I am going to be giving away a tarot deck, okay? So in the comment section below, uh, you can leave a comment if you're interested in a free deck, okay? And also, um, I will be making a video about this milestone today, so you can also leave a comment there. And I will also leave my email down below so that you can mail me if you feel like doing that instead to let me know if you're interested in a deck and why, okay? I would just, I'm curious as to why and who I'm giving this deck to, okay? All right. Oh, by the way, this is a deck that I've used, okay? It's a deck I have used, so I will be passing, my energy will be within that deck, and it's a deck that I've used for many years, okay? All right, so let's jump into this reading. This will work for Sagittarius placements, okay? If you have Sagittarius anywhere in your chart and it's strong, this will resonate with you most likely, okay? But I can't resonate with everybody. All right. going on with Sagittarius today um there's some pain in the heart <clears throat> some pain in the heart it's activated here <sighs> okay gotta clear gonna have to clear that energy out all right tell us about Sagittarius today what energies currently surround Sagittarius oh no well, we'll take this one. Knight of Cups. Interesting, interesting. The Lovers. And a bunch of conflict and fighting. Oh, no. Okay, Sagittarius. <laughs> what have you gotten yourself into? Um, that's all I want to say. So I feel right now there is someone that you or has, no, no, this is to you. I am getting the message directly for you right now. Sagittarius, somebody's fighting over you. Okay. I, someone, or they're having an internal battle about you. Okay. They have emotion for you. They are invested in you. This could be a water sign that you're dealing with, okay? But somebody is fi either fighting their love for you or fighting over you, okay? This is the <laughs> there is a conflict here. Uh, it could be possible that someone needs to make a choice, okay? Either you or this other person. But either way, there is a definite energy here of some heartache, okay? And I don't know if this is this is uh, because someone's fighting over you or you're fighting over someone. All right, so let's go ahead and get some more clarity on this energy. Whew, that's intense. Oh my goodness. Okay. All right, we've got the Queen of Cups in reverse on the board here with the Nine of Cups. All right, so I feel like I feel like you, okay, are emotionally invested in somebody. All right, you are uh, emotionally invested in a situation that is a little bit volatile, okay? And I feel that it is based around this this sort of pushback energy of, of conflict that is it feels like it's holding you hostage in a sense emotionally, okay? And here with the Queen of Cups in reverse, I feel that it's making you a bit disappointed, sad, okay? You're retreating. And even though this situation is uh, about love, it is, a, it, is a, it is a loving situation. There's possibly someone coming in between you and this other person, okay? And I feel here that you may have left the ball in the other person's court, all right? You may have decided what... I'm getting the vibe here that you said, what are you going to do about it to the other person? Because you don't want to get in the middle. Okay. I think that you don't want to be this, this guy over here. Okay. You don't want to be the one stuck in the middle of other people. Uh, there is a connection here and I do feel Sagittarius. You are, 
you are dealing quite possibly with a water sign of some sort. But I feel that the most important message right now for you is you are retreating. Okay, because the situation is a little bit, it's a little bit volatile. Okay, let's get some clarity on the lovers. Icky. I'm sorry, Sagittarius. <laughs> okay, let's see. Knight of Swords rushing at you. The star. Oh, boy. People are fighting over you, Sagittarius, or at least there's someone very interested in communicating to you that they have more love for you than the other person. Do you see what I mean? I also kind of get the feeling that this other person that's coming at you. Okay, there's two people. There's two people fighting over you, Sagittarius. That I just, I cannot get away from this vibe. One of them has a lot of love for you. You're retreating from both of them. I feel like both of them are coming at you in a, <laughs> in a very, I got gusto kind of way. I'm going to win this. I'm going to win that this situation. I do feel that one of the parties thinks that they can offer you more and they feel as though you are their actual wish come true. Okay. You are the one that they desire. You are their star. Okay. And they want to show you just how amazing they are. <laughs> okay. Someone is taking more initiative here than the other person. Um, but there is a, a, a conflict. This, this could also with the five of wands here be alluding to an inner conflict inside you. Maybe you can't decide between both of these people, maybe you're having a hard time with the lover's card. You know you have to make, do you want them both? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe this is why you're kind of in this moon reverse over here. Maybe you're kind of like creating some kind of idea in your head. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, but let's see. Let's, let's look at this conflict. Ace of cups in reverse. Ooh, you see what I mean? Knight of Wands. Yeah, they're pretty passionate. Okay, I'm getting some fiery energy here in this fight. Okay, who has the better cup? Okay, I feel like these people are kind of like tipping over each other's cups. Um, <laughs> if that makes sense. And you, okay, Sagittarius are like, nope, 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 nope. I... <laughs> <laughs> do I leave this behind? You're getting all this offer, this offer, and you're just kind of like, do I let this go? Because I feel that you may like both of these people, Sagittarius, but you're not sure which one you like more. Okay, it could also be that you don't really see a beginning here because of this conflict. Maybe you are trying to decide right now, and I do kind of get this vibe, whether or not, as you're in the Queen of Cups in reverse, you want to give your emotional energy to this situation any longer, okay? Eesh. This is a thick energy, okay? And <laughs> Dude, I'm not sure you're enjoying having this happen over you. Maybe you are to some extent with the attention. But I do feel right now the, the conflict is based solely around suitors, so to speak, trying to prove themselves to you while you kind of go, uh, <laughs> maybe they're trying a little too hard. Okay. Tell me about the Knight of Cups. F person A. Tell me about person A. The Emperor. Okay. This is why you're having a hard time. Six. What the? Okay. So this first person, person A. Okay. The Knight of Cups. They have their shit together. They may have fire placements in their chart. They may have fire and water in their chart. It's a possibility. Okay, but we don't pay too much attention. I want the message to get out more than anything. They see themselves having a victory with you. They, they feel they can offer you the best. This is, this is what I get. Both of these people feel that they can offer you the best that they have. Saji, what am I connecting with here? You're beautiful. You're beautiful, I think, to these people. Um, they are, you know, the, the, the Nine of Cups here is, their energy is, I have the emotion, I have this for you, and I will be the one for you. With the Page of Swords here, I get the vibe that they are communicating with you, perhaps, 
very quickly. Okay, they're communicating with you maybe even more than the other person. But let's not let's not let's not judge the other party too harshly here. Okay, tell us about the Nine of Swords. Okay. Tell us about person B. I'm nosy. Ooh. Okay, Knight of Pentacles. So person B could be an earth sign that you're dealing with or an air sign. Okay. But I feel that this person Mm, they're a little bit in their head about this, okay? Even though they're coming at you and they're saying, you know, I'm, I've got fulfillment here. I, I can give you something. I can show you myself and everything that I have, okay? I think that they are a little bit more defensive and a little bit more worried that this other party is going to win okay so they are maybe a little um on guard towards you okay they might they may be a little bit defensive towards you or towards they, they i get the feeling they may know about this other person as well so they may be retracting their energy a little bit and going slowly but they're in it for the long haul okay this person i feel is waiting a little bit more they're holding back a little bit more because they can see that the other person is is giving you more okay in, in terms of energy their energy is overpowering right now okay so right now Sagittarius within this reading this <laughs> there is a definite energy of indecisiveness Okay, and I need to pull back. You feel as though you need to retreat. Okay, so let's get a little bit of cards on that. Tell me about the Queen of Cups in reverse. You're holding your emotions back from these people. And it could be the way they're approaching you, you know. Let's see. You're tired. You're tired. Okay, this could have been, this could be going on for quite some time. Oh my. Okay, with the Five of Swords here, there, you know, I get this is alluding to the fight. You're watching it. Okay, you're watching this kind of unfold. I feel like maybe the fight that these people are in has become more important than the fact of caring about your emotions. And that's why you're in the Queen of Cups in reverse and you've got the moon here. Okay, you are keeping your emotions more so to yourself right now. And I feel that the reason why is because the fight has become more important to these people than whether or not you feel good about it in general. Okay, and here with the Wheel of Fortune, I feel like you, you know, you're, you're tired and you're ready for something new. Like you don't want this fight to continue. You want it to just, you're like, can it please just be over? <laughs> okay, this is what I see here with the Wheel of Fortune. With, with your energy, you really want this to be over. And I understand that, Sagittarius, because these kinds of situations, they have a tendency, the energy to, to kind of, you know what I mean? And, and then something bad can happen, okay? Like a tower moment, something we don't really want to happen. Someone could get hurt, okay? So I do feel there is a lot of energy coming at you. Okay, and that's why you're feeling a little bit like, oh my gosh, I think I want to leave this behind. Okay, so let's see what advice Source has for you with the Moonology deck. What advice do you have, Source? This is a powerful energy where I feel like you're pinned down, Sagittarius, in terms of your emotions. Like, maybe they're not really hearing you. Um, wait. They're not, they're not, maybe they're not really listening to what it is that you need because they are too involved in fighting over you. And I get the feeling here, this is for a very feminine, emotional kind of Sagittarius here, because both of these energies that are coming at you are very, um, they're very masculine in terms of how they're, how they're approaching you. It's in a masculine energy. Okay. So, 
This is like some no romance novel here, okay? Nothing will come of this situation. It's like I thought, okay, Sagittarius. If you are waiting for the situation to unfold in a certain way with the Wheel of Fortune here, you're hoping that it turns and it releases. And maybe you're hoping somebody will get tired and maybe let you just breathe because I do feel you're a little bit stressed, okay? So nothing will come of this situation. We have to think... Is the fight worth it? Are these people fighting out of selfishness? Hmm. Or do they really feel love for you? Or is the fight more important? I think you're thinking that. Okay. New moon in Sagittarius. Luck is on your side. Again, with the wheel of fortune. Again, I feel like you're going to move out of this energy in the future. Okay. I really do. And then we have... A personal issue reaches resolution. So when this started taking place, you, it was drama. It was drama land, okay? And it has been for quite some time. And you're ready. With full moon and cancer, you may go ahead and start retreating more. You may get a little bit more defensive in yourself and kind of, you know, go crabby on them, so to speak. I don't mean attack them and go crabby. I mean, you, you'll go into your shell. You will defend yourself in a sense. And, and I do feel that because of the way these energies are aligning and pinning you down in a sense, that you're just kind of like, I want to aim in a different direction, okay, with the luck is on your side. And I think that you know that deep down, that even though both of these people may like you, that uh, you, you know, it's, it's about you and what you want in life, not what they want, okay? Knights, knights have a tendency to um, give off an energy when, in readings that's very hasty, okay? That's also kind of like, um, it's, it's, it's a potent energy, it's one that can get things moving in a momentum, but the problem with that energy is that if that momentum starts off really fast like that, and you've got two of those going on, you've got two of those coming at you, it's harder to handle for one person, to handle two people taking on the energy of being pinned down by two like people coming at you and communicating you. Oh no, I love you. Well, what about me? No, I love you more. Like, it's just like, I feel like you're sitting there and you're, this is the imagery I'm getting is someone sitting there like at a work desk or at home, just, just swiping messages. Okay. Kind of like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got things, you know, I got things I need to do. You're like trying to avoid while you're emotional about it and no one's asking you how you feel. Okay. So let's see. Protection protection. Okay. This is what the angels say. You are safe. Do not fear. We're with you always and surround you always with our invisible wings of light. So I feel like Sagittarius with you being in this queen of cups in reverse kind of energy with your emotions and how you feel like this is kind of getting a little bit out of hand. Maybe you, you care for these people, but you need to protect your energy because I do feel right now within this energy, there's a pin down kind of like, like, the, the energy's building up. So pay attention to that Wheel of Fortune card. Move forward, okay? Release this situation. You know, don't let the energy build up momentum by keeping people hanging on strings. Maybe here you need to protect yourself and you need to make a choice for you. You want to choose you. Maybe that's what needs to happen in this situation. All right, Sagittarius, have a great day and I hope this works out for you. Bye.